So I'm calling it Bistro. Um, he's, he actually this year just won a New York Nightlife, Nightlife Award also. So please help me welcome to the stage, Mr. Mark McCombs. <laughs> says in this little segment here, I have three to four minutes, which I don't remember discussing, so I'm gonna, <laughs> gonna, I'm gonna give you the short um, version of my intro. Uh, from the Florida Panhandle, originally, uh, which is, you know, is where you can still legally hunt abortion doctors if you have all your paperwork in order. <laughs> uh, do a 90 minute uh, show, one man show called Bottom Feeders Buffet. It's character <laughs> stuff like Lily Tomlin and John Leguizamo like that. Uh, this character that I want you to meet tonight is a 70-ish year old housewife, uh, town gossip, who is talking smack about the woman who lives across the street. Who, she's talking to her best friend, Maudine, and, <laughs> and they, um, they, they, they've narrowed it down to the fact that probably the reason Doshi across the street has gone around the bend is because in the summer of 1989, she accidentally walked in on her teenage son trying to penetrate himself with a frozen corn dog. <laughs> a, story, a story that Maudine never grows tired of hearing, and a story, a story that Murtis Pooley never grows tired of telling. You know I'll do it. <laughs> hey, I, I got a good idea. Turn on your tape recorder now, your answering machine, and tape it. That way we'll have a nice, crisp, clear copy for the archives in case something happens to me. <laughs> All right, are we rolling? <laughs> Testing, one, two, three. This is the story of Doshi Buteller and the Dixie Dog up the old dirt road. Take one. <laughs> And it was so hot and sticky outside that your meringue wouldn't weep on you. It's just plain squall, honey. <laughs> Freddie and Doshi Butiller had been away on one of them ridiculous silver sand dollar award weekends where they present local businessmen with a silver sand dollar, you know, if they can make it look like they've been given back to the community. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> just another excuse for rich people to sniff each other's behind, honey. <laughs> Anyway, this one year in particular, they had to leave early because Doshi had had a bad fruit acid peel at that fancy uh, beauty salon she goes to. You know, the one that uh, put up the privacy fence when they opened up the Hooters next door. <laughs> well, anyway, her entire face had turned three shades of scarlet under her makeup, and them little slips she's got for eye holes anymore because that last job left her looking like a Siamese wall socket. <laughs> So Freddie drives her home. But on the way into the driveway, they noticed that all the lights had been turned out except for their Venus de Milo rain lamp and some tapered dinner candles. <laughs> they unlock the front door, and there they find Johnny Shade. Yeah, I know it. Honey, it's their own fault. If you hang a moniker like that on one, when they're born, you may as well just go ahead and issue a cosmetology license right along with the birth certificate. <laughs> Oh, 
liquor cabinet. Candles and rain are going, you know, listening to Liza Minnelli on the big stereo console, inhaling Doshi's nail polish remover, a picture of that David Hasseyhoff with his shirt off in one hand and a pronto pup in the other, honey. <laughs> Having his own private little fanny farm, too. <laughs> switches, so I figured you were from somewhere. Because <laughs> we had plum trees growing in the backyard. Uh, so when did you find out that you could do these characters? Did you do it ever since you were a little kid? or? Yeah, no, I was a gay kid in the Florida panhandle, and I had to survive, so <laughs> I, had, I had to talk to somebody. Yeah. So, I mean, but you, you see, well, at least the times that I've seen you, you focus on old people. Yeah. A lot of old people. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's, you know, I mean, it's where they go to die. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, I mean, uh, the, you know, my one-man show has people, eh, well, there's some older people in it, but then there's a child also. So I don't know, um, maybe that child is me, and, uh, you know, I, I'll, yeah. I, this can't, I can't have this kind of conversation. I've had no sleep. <laughs> <laughs> Any kind of crap showing well, up anywhere that I, that I... <laughs> The, the show, first of all, the show is amazing. If you ever get the chance to see it, it's one of the best shows that I've ever seen. And it's not because we work together that I'm saying this. And you won which show? You won the night 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 board, board, yeah. Right. And now, you have how many characters in the show? Uh, there's five. Five. Uh, you want <laughs> There, there you, you go. Yeah. So for you, which is your favorite out of the five that you did? Uh, I didn't do her tonight. Uh, Treva Pitts, who <laughs> is... Um, <laughs> no, sir. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's just a funny thing. <laughs> <laughs> She's um she's that like, black sheep of the family, you know, um, born loser, uh, got that Keith Richards eaten by a lion and shit off a cliff look, you know. <laughs> <laughs> she runs into her her third grade uh, teacher in the Walmart, and and after 
all of this time, you know, the teacher is still rotten to her just because of who her family is, you know, and, and she just looks her right there in the aisle, uh, on the drug aisle and says, God, you still sad, don't you? <laughs> Look at you, you've had all these years to sweeten up and you'd still be too much cunt for Larry Flint. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but it's just so, it's amazing to me watching it. <laughs> And she loves that one for, for Larry, Larry Flint. Flint. That's good. It's amazing to be watched, uh, for me to watch you, because as soon as you get into the character, it just seems like your face just turns into clay and just changes. It's amazing to watch. Yeah, that's why Lily Tomlin's had all that work done. <laughs> <laughs> In a few years, it's all going to come home to roost. <laughs> <laughs> you are fabulous. Will you do another number for us? I'm gonna close with this one. This is usually the one that I open with. This is Tracy Stark on the piano. <laughs> Fabulous time. That we all love the work. Ladies and gentlemen, after suffering two near fatal strokes last year. <laughs> acute prostatitis, Legionnaire's disease, and just last month, the worst infected nose hair Nashville General Hospital has ever seen. Please welcome the man, the legend, ladies and gentlemen, country music superstar, Mr. Click Hollis! And I've seen a lot of things in my old lifetime. Hit a lot old twice, caught a 20 pound bass on a 12 pound line. Watched my ex wife eat six layer cake. She'd been dead three days. This was at the wake, but that didn't surprise me because it's just like something she pulled. But I reckon if I live to be a hundred, I'll never see. I sure wish to hell somebody out there would explain it to me. Why something can just be going swell and all of a sudden just go straight to hell because some do-gooder hollers out, won't you have a nice day? Oh, thank you, sir. Won't you have a nice day? That's a kiss of death that goes the other way. But some moron tells you, won't you have a nice day? It just beats all that I ever see. Them four little words would ruin a wet dream. Sit back now and listen. Let me tell you just what I mean. Drive through winter at the Ring Ding King. I was waiting in line. Had Lefty Frizzell on my radio. Things was going just fine. I gave my order to the gal and she got it real quick. I thought, crullers and coffee now. That'll do the trick. Then she handed me my change. She said, thank you now. Have a nice day. Well, at that point, I dropped the coffee in my lap. And at that point, I filled my drawers full of crap. Them crawlers went flying. I mean, they went every which way. In the rear view mirror was a big U-Haul in the driver's seat. My damn mother-in-law stuck her head out the window and she hollered, I'm headed your way. Fantastic. Thank you, sir. Won't you have a nice day? That's a kiss of death that goes the other way. When some moron tells you, won't you have a nice day? It just beats all that I ever seen. Them poor little words could ruin a wet dream. Sit back once again. Let me share just what I mean. 7 a.m. flight on the 747, we was packed to the gills. Sitting next to a woman who was feeding both her young'uns little Dramamine pills. And here come the stewardess looking mighty sweet. She said, good morning, Mr. Hollis. What would you like to eat? I said, toast, juice, and coffee, please. And we don't want me when you walk away. <laughs> now the Dramamine young'un sitting next to me was both mean as hell. This is one meal I wouldn't be eating in peace, I could already tell. Then here come the gal with my breakfast tray, last nail in the coffin, because what did she say? We put over a little nose, said, there you go, have a nice day. Well, at that point, we hit some turbulent air, and at that point, breakfast food went everywhere. Bop it did, too, you see the drama mean young, it's blue chow. <laughs> yeah, the kids started laughing, and the mama started crying, other people frunk out, they all thought we was dying. Oh, and P.S., I sent my damn suitcase straight to Hong Kong. Oh, thank you, sir. Won't you have a nice day? That's a kiss of 
death that goes the other way. But some moron tells you, won't you have a nice day? It just beats all that I ever seen. Them four little words could ruin a wet dream. Sit back. Last time, I'll tell you just what I mean. Thought I'd get me a dirty movie. The old lady, she was out of town. I was feeling kind of randy. Thought I'd take myself in handy. Couldn't wait until the sun went down. I took my pickup truck to the video store. Run my old lady hair and her hubby she more. I looked around a little. Then I found Forbidden Fanny Volume 2. I'm ready to go. I got my purchase in my hand. And I get in line behind a funny little man with a purple ascot and wearing little tassels on his shoes. Old lady hair called next. And the feller flit away. Then her hubby called next. And he motioned my way, paid him what I owed him, then he said, a click, have a nice day. Well, at that point, I took my video home, and at that point, I was naked all alone. The excitement was building, ooh wouldn't be long now. <laughs> I pulled it out of the bag, I'll be a son of a bitch. Somehow them videos must have got switched. What I had was an all-male feature called Stick in the Mud. <laughs> oh, thank you, sir. So come visit us. We also have a channel on Facebook, on uh, YouTube, and you can see some past episodes. And this episode coming up, we're being filmed right now by RC TV, so that'll be up. So make sure to watch the episode. Next and oh, the winner is. Do I do this now? Yeah, do it now. Don Carton. Oh, oh. <laughs> and he's wearing lavender. Love it. <laughs> There's a whole bunch of stuff in here. Candles, massage oil, I think. Cock rings. rings. The vibrating card. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, actually, so next month, our show is March 19th. We're March 19th? Yep, absolutely. And we're talking about LGBT homeless youth. So come down. We're going to find out how to help that out. And also, Frank DeCaro, comedian and talk show host, is going to be coming up on another guest later to be announced. Absolutely. Thank you for coming out tonight. So okay. we would like to thank our guests, a lot of people. Our guests. Sue Senna, <laughs> Jamie Lloyd. Thank you for coming down. Swish. From Swish. And also we have Keith Price. Absolutely. Mark McCall. Best of all, we really want to thank you, yeah, our thank audience, you. for coming thank down. And um, we also have our stage managers that, that are here, Robert Fowler, thank Ben Alcamo, photographer Frank Lewis. We have On Lights and Sound, John Keitel. And we also want to thank our accompanist, Tracy Stark. Thank Absolutely. Fucking brilliant. Whatever you do, we also have our PR guy, Steve Deach, who's sitting right what? here. What? PR guy? <laughs> so, whatever you do, you guys just keep, keep on cute talking! Thanks again for coming down, everybody! Cute talks for you. Let us talk.